If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. So, you going through the exercise? Yeah, I finished. You finished, and I think some uh, other uh, assignment in hands on is also uploaded. So, you just go through this also, okay? Okay. You ha ha had you checked this? Because uh, some extra thing is also get uploaded. Oh, okay. it's the lab activities. Yeah, all the lab activities are there. So you have to go through this. And that. So whatever we practice, so one by one, the thing is there. And you go through this. Yeah. I finished the hands-on assignment. Yeah, hands-on. So I'll already that hands-on is solved. So you have to just go to uh, open this hands-on, try it in your uh, system, and then based on that particular hands-on, you can do the lab Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So see here, uh, suppose uh, you go for this hands-on assignment. Let's uh, be handsome. Yeah. For me, it's showing only one. Yeah, for me also, it's uh, shows. Yeah, in lab activities is here, but a uh, hand from, I just checked here. It's it was showing me. The hands on assignment also, but if you are showing only lab tips, it's showing for you or hands? Uh, no, it's same for me. Uh, it's only uh, for you. Yeah, lab, acti lab activities, right? Yeah, lab activities and uh, yes. HTML form for all the. Yes, yes. So here, this is for the graphics also, like you see this modify the CSS rule, configure horizontal line, and Create, configure the web page, suppose, configure the transparent text on the web page. So, when you open this thing, so see this here, this. So, here, hands on practice in this. So, if you check here, this thing is given here CSS, right? For the color code for H1. So, when we run this H1 in your text, so it will work. Like so first you have to use some this image and then on image you have to use this thing. So create a new folder, this thing all JPG. Like this, you have to write a starter code and then you have to use this text writing, text align right, color RGBA. So here we use the RGBA and then this is the transparency 0.7. Because you have to give between one zero to one, that's almost seventy percent transparency is here. So got it. You can try this. Okay. Similarly, you go to um, any hands on. See this gradient background. You configure web page with the inline styles. Or see this use Trillium Media Design file. So, see. It. Configuring navigation hyperlink, configure this color, ID class feature, then configure the footer area, and you have to use all this header and footer. So something is given, and accordingly, you have to create your horn song. So, and phone is not here. We get a header and footer like this. See this footer here, and this is a header. Now, see the CSS uh, float properties we already discussed yesterday. Again, here, see this yellow lady slipper, and this is a float by default left. So, you have to write float right. And it will go to the float, right? See this float, 
by default left margin and this. When we use float by default right, so it will go to the right. Okay. So again, let's open this uh, tile sheet. And here, so if you go through the agenda, so almost uh, all is done. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Styling link in a styling list. So we already done. So using a styling list. So we are creating a navigation bar. So you know how to create a navigation. First, you create a list and then we change it. Right. And display it. Yeah. So here I'm going to show you. So let's see here at this. Uh, I was uh, doing today forms. So in forms, some element is left, right? So if you select list, we already done. Some option is left. So that's why I was trying to image button, but mostly accessibility from label element. Now here you can get this. See this field set. And then we have to create a uh, email validation. So you can use the email. Right, type email date for so this. We can use a date. So we have a, all different forms. Okay, so let's see here server side processing, showing you complete one form. Because I have to check all forms. So see here in uh, input and element form control. So here we have to get all this basic form controls here. We already done. So here action, autocomplete ID methods. So we are mostly using get and post with a form, right? But uh, when we are using the form control, so we have a input type text. I already used input type text. Basic name ID I used. You can use size also if you want to uh, limited the size, key numeric value, uh, that only number get accept so that you can define the max size also, max length here or simple size. Value, if you want to print that time, disabled, read only, auto complete on and off, you can give. This is the C here. The, some new features in HTML5 is added. So that's why I'm showing you. Auto focus and then required and placeholder mostly we use. Right. So this is for text box. See, this is for email. Join our newsletter. You can write email text box and you can use. But uh, reset and submit button, I already explained you. So we don't need to do this right now. Whatever thing we missed, so that uh, thing only will do. Scrolling text. Right, so this is the text area. So text area, I told you, uh, we just write a text area name, ID, and volume. I told you, okay, if you want to increase the uh, row values and column values, so you can use it. If you want to define max length, you can decide it. Clear? A part of this, yeah. all see these are the common common attributes for all input type, okay? Yeah. Read only, autofocus, placeholder, required. So required means that means we are validating things. So you can't left blank. The field cannot be left blank, right? Before uh, HTML5, we have to write manually in the JavaScript code. If uh, this text box value, id dot get value is null, then we uh, display the alert message. But now we don't need to do anything because just because of HTML5. So our task become very easy. <laughs> Main is date and email. So you can use a select list. So in select list also, we have a see this name, ID, size, multiple. So when we write a multiple, that means we are configuring, we can select a multiple item in from a list. 
right? And tab index. So here, see this option values, value selected. So by default, it will select it and disable. So form control is disabled. So you are not able to select it. Image button. So if you write, if you want to type create a button, so you can write image button and whatever image is here, so you can give. If you, so here type name ID alternate value because we are giving an image. So always alternate value and values. Label element. Then see this here, field set. Field set and legend is nothing. When we are creating a block of uh, some area because a two part of form, three part of form like this, we want to separate this like billing address, billing type, right? So then uh, we are using this. Uh, so this is called fill set and legend. So this uh, border line is called fill set. See this here. Legend is billing and entire coming inside the fill set. So if you want, uh, let's try this. I to open your folder. Let's open, create a file, forms, demo.html, here I'm directly writing. So here we are using all the forms uh, element. And uh, you see this here. So you can use directly from here. And see this. Save this and we can run into a folder from your folder in number. See, let's check. Content width, UFA, viewport. Okay. I have to type here in body tag. So that's my mistake. And refresh it. See this. Billing address. So this is a legend here. And if you write here field set, so this field set here is here. And we did nothing. Uh, the rest of thing is similar. Street, uh, city, all our input box. Right? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So see here, same thing. But if you want to write an email ID, see here, we divided a form in a two parts. First part is a customer information. Second part is a comment. So you can, using field set, you can do this. Right? So see this type text name email so we can use the email id email tab index one so we can use this style using form here so like if i have to use this uh, some extra forms like uh, date and time and uh, html5 control here see this email so here we have to write email so you can use email only if you don't want to use label it's your choice but here I can use email. See this. After this field set, I'm using here. So it will give you the email address. And uh, what is the beauty of this email type? See this email here, right? Yeah. But what is the beauty of this? If you don't write a correct email, uh, it will generate an error, right? Suppose I I write here A B C. See this. So if you have a required field and anything, so this field give you an error. So it's already validated. So he, here you have to give a correct uh, email ID dot com at the rate. 
and dot com it means you, you you don't need uh to validate a field so that's why email same thing you can do with the date and time say label for my email and what is my email this name or id so if you are want to use label so you can use label along with this uh, input type otherwise you can simply write it means you remove the email and you can write like suppose see here i'm writing here uh date okay and here i can simply type input type equals to date okay and id date that's it so here we don't need to type see this here we get this date thing yes or no yeah so we don't need to uh, give this uh, what is called label here i have not used label so it's your choice if you want to use label then what we have to write here along with the label before this uh br no no label Wait, br so we have to write for the break but before yeah. this we have to write label okay l a b e l label and this label belongs to which input type right so that's why we have to write for and i created a date so for date means date is id here says here this id right not type yeah. so let's do this yeah. my date so here it will my date and then we have to close this label and here we have to write like the date so this is so if you don't want to do all these things and that much writing so simply you can write date and input type it will also give you the same result see this it will also give you the same result nothing different understood yeah so here br so when we select the date any date from here so see this we can select a date so we can get date here similarly if you want to use time then what to do same thing I, same thing i'm co copying from here and you can use here input type date time will give you the date time so go to here hey, i have to change here time also or simply you can use time also T capital. Okay. So let's see. Wait. Time. Here is time. okay yeah so these are the field in only see this url input so here giving us error see this name websites see this so if you give here the required so please enter email field we have not given here id and all see this for this url type is url so if it's not valid URL, like not valid uh, email ID, so it will uh, generate a validation automatically. So we don't need to do anything. Previously, what happened when we don't have a HTML5, so that time we have to write these validation manually. Yes. So here, www. Google 
and if I enter here, maybe I've not written required and all that, but it will give you the errors. Let me check with the another um, browser. So, see this. Please enter the correct URL. Same thing for the telephone number. Mobile type is telephone. So it will give you the telephone number like uh, 9 plus or you know, what is called masking code uh, that way. So open in a live server. Check here, email. Mobile number. But yes, I think we have to write a required, required then we have to enter this proper format, but it's get validated. So here, did not, maybe we have not written into pro proper form, so that's why. So we have to check this thing. So you can use this data list in all like this. Slido. So in Slido, you can use this uh, maximum value, minimum value, or uh, step. Means how much uh, it you want to increase this value. So this thing is called Slido. So you can use it now. So see this here, range, and you can give the max, minimum, and step. So suppose max is 1, minimum is 100. I, if you want to uh, create a step 10 by 10, 10, 10 uh, points you want to increase. So you have to give step 10. So this is all HTML5. See this, range, my choice, ID, minimum 1, maximum 100. By default, it's a 10, 10 steps. So you can give the steps. By default, it's a one only. But if you want to give range, then you have to write your steps. Spinner form control here like this. Same thing here again. Simply you have to choose a number and uh, you have to write all this thing. So for input type equals to number if you don't want uh, id and anything it's okay so num because i'm not using this value before this br and uh, let's see here i'm giving this qty quantity Okay, now run here. So see this, I'm getting quantity here and this number. So it will increment, see, one, two, I can, well, I'm not uh, fixed the maximum limit, minimum limit or anything, right? So let's go to here and use min equals to zero, max equals to 20 and we don't need a step the step is one one so okay now check here see this max quantity is by default 18 17 so we can go to this zero so now it's not going to the negative value and it won't go more than 20 see right same thing we can do in a slider also that range clear yeah calendar so see this here calendar i already used so date so it will give you the date in yy mmdd format date time so it will give both date time local 
or time. So it will only give you time, only give you date. So we already tried. If you want to change, so let's change the something any date and time. So type date time. So I'm not using date time local and come to here and see this. I think I don't know why date time is not working here. Can we check date time local? Yeah. Because the date time is not working. Date time local. Yeah, date time local is So here you can select a local date time. So when we select to trace date, so it will give the please enter the valid date and time. So time here. So you can use anyone. So date, date and time local here, calendar used. Color box, that's not required, but if you want to color box, so you can use input type color and you can get a color box also and you can select the color we have to store in somewhere and you can use it it will give you the dialog box so these are the new element introduced in html5 because the basic uh, element is only five L uh, input type text input type password text area uh, then button in button we have a reset submit and normal button and uh, select option or radio button check boxes so these are the basic elements form element see here this whatever the color you want to check you can select from here and okay so this is so these are form control introduced in html5 understood yeah so see, uh, send, uh, send us your comment. So here they use reins and everything. So this hands-on practice is already maybe uh, there also. So here we can create all these things. So see this. See here. So let's, I'm um, using all this thing already here. Control C. So I'm, should I remove all these things from here? Yeah. So, see this is required field. And then here already, this thing is label and all the form. And check here. See this. So your first name, because required. So see this, please fill out this. Because we have not worked with the this email ID, suppose A B C at yeah. Right. It's a rating, so we can increase the rating. Comment, whatever comment I want to give, can give. So see this here. When submit, it's a please fill out the field. When fill out the field, then I'm going to submit. It will give because it's a not a post method and all this here. We are not in server. And we have to write CSS also. So CSS is not here. Let's check for method post. Yes, so CSS is not here. So we have to write CSS for arrange this. Yes. See this. So almost uh, we finished this almost uh, HTML, HTML forms and their all elements. Okay. Yeah. 
so uh, this uh, css is all, almost done so can i move to the next topic yeah sure bootstrap yeah but the only thing is uh, Pramod, you have to go through this and try to finish all the lab activities and exercises there so it will uh, helpful for your practice okay yeah so let's open with the bootstrap so first thing what is bootstrap uh, i think it's a type of css so i might be wrong yeah so see what happening now so when i want to create a form right i just when i wanted to just create a form so what i have to do i have to write a, a html tag also and css tag also right and when we are using a css tag so for alignment for and proper making a card or anything whatever thing you want to keep or a navigation bar so we are struggling right yeah. so we have to write means complete html code then we have to write a lengthy css code yeah so then bootstrap is introduced so here everything is already created only you have to know that ki how you can use the element which element you want to use and where and how to use it so you can see this here all all everything is a ready-made thing instant thing is here but in, when we are using this any instant food but at least we have to um, means mix hot water or we have to manage something right so same thing here also so that's why it's called bootstrap and it's a most usable uh, application in a web industry so here our text uh, means our task has become you can say this uh 75 percent less so it's a save the developer life basically and bootstrap is i think it's a uh, developed by google or i mean i think uh, that uh, facebook guys because they just uh, because they are struggling in all this so they develop this all thing and we are they are also using now bootstrap it most of the web application every uh, uh websites using bootstrap so see here that bootstrap typography progress bar button batch list group breadcrumbs drop down and see uh, so these are the small points here because uh, it's a very big uh, thing and but nothing else because here we have to do only drag and drop so you have to understood the basic uh, content okay, what we, you required in your design or your web layout or where your web page so that content or that element you can use so typography is all related our font color font size font style font family right uh, font si um, size weight bold italic underline whatever we did the formatic tag in css clear similarly yeah. progress bar is an element here like uh, so here we can use the progress bar buttons so all we have a designer buttons we don't need to uh, write a css code for the buttons so suppose normally we create a button here right if you want to design your button so what we have to write the dot button and then background color red foreground color blue then uh, size is like this uh, height 10 uh, percent width 20 percent kind of thing right border uh, border color solid and all that here we don't need to do anything simply you can choose the bu button and you can uh, use your tag right so same thing is here batch list group so all thing is created only we have to use it in our this thing so what is bootstrap is free and open open source tools collection for creating a responsive website and web application is the most popular html css size javascript framework is already uh, developed means but only you have to utilize how to utilize so that thing you have to know that that's also skills so here why bootstrap so it's a front end 
framework for faster and easier development because here we don't need to type a single code. Yes, we can type a code, but not that much because we are not uh, writing a uh, bootstrap code. Bootstrap means same thing. The, that means what what is means bootstrap? We are not writing a, a HTML structure and then a, a font color equals to red, a face uh, means a background color equals to blue, and all these things. Basic tag we are not going to write, right? Because everything is already created. So you simply copy the code and paste into your application. Clear? Yeah. So, but this thing you have to understood very clearly. Right? Because in Bootstrap or when we are doing this, any grid layout or anything, so we have a 12 column always. Right? So we have a 12 hour or it's a working in a grid system. So column system. So we have a 12 column. So complete websites, your web screen visibility is 12 column. So see this, this is a single one, two, three, four till 12 column. So if you want to divide, so we have a, this a large column. This is a four and eight. See this extra large. So this cover eight and six. Sorry, six and six. Then total 12, then four, offset three. See this, four offset four, three offset four. So these are all combination of 12 column only. You can't use this more than 12, right? So we, we, you can mix the two, three columns and create a one bigger large uh, space or box, you can say that. So these things, every time we use in our web page. Typography, I already told you this, these are the heading list. So list, paragraph, align, adding. So what we are doing when we are doing the creating any paragraph or anything. So what we are again formatting our text, right? Text align center, font family, font size, font weight, color, background, border, all these things, basic thing. So same thing here, already mentions, already created. We don't need to do anything. See this. So how to use bootstrap in our this program or page, okay? So let's start. So what we have to do, go to here, search bootstrap. Now, latest is the bootstrap five. If you want, you can use Bootstrap 4 also. So which you want to use. And when we are using a Bootstrap, so we have a two method. One is called directly we can use CDN method. And second thing is you download this uh, Bootstrap file in your folder. Like uh, we created this uh, CSS folder or image folder. Remember? And link it. So which one you want, you can do this. But the better thing is go to here, get started with bootstrap. And every time so when we are using a bootstrap, so this uh, 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 documentation we need. Because now in web development, what happened when we are doing the web developing? So that time either you are using React.js, uh, AngularJS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, or other like Spring Boots and all that. So we are dependent on um, documentation because every month they added some new additions or changes so that's why you have to follow the documentation clear yeah so now thing is so here we get to start with the bootstrap now what we have to do which one you want to use a uh, cdn or you want to download so better we use cdn because mostly the suggested, the expert suggested to use CDN. Why use CDN? Because they are directly, because if you download the file, means a bootstrap file in your system, right? And when you upload this in your web server, so what happened? When anyone access your websites, so that uh, uh, file, bootstrap file, get upload from the server, right? Again, get download into their user system, so this thing is every time going on. So it's a means become a little bit slower. So that's why, because if you use a CDN, so 
that directly in a uh, in a content directory network right so that bootstrap file they are getting fetching directly from the server CD. right that uh, delivery network so better we use cdn so go to here and uh, see this this is a basic bootstrap demo so include here what we have to do this is a basic thing cdn so simply see this here link cdn bootstrap file right and for the cdn we need a javascript file so both file is included here simply copy this okay go to here let's create bootstrap demo dot html file and paste it done launch this file on server now this phone so how do we know if the bootstrap is working or not so you can use anything like uh, create any uh, div tag or anything so uh, let's do here i'm creating a div tag div and here you can use class equals to container because already class we have a container and container fluid so what is container and what is container fluid so we'll show you control x and go to here div let's see have you seen any difference yeah, we saw left before. Left before, so. right? Let's see. I, I'm adding one more thing here. Container. And here you can use BZ dark. Here BZ dark, BZ light. We have already classes, multiple classes here. So I, I use container class and then I use BZ dark. For text, text color is there. So TXT. Uh, my primary txt color will show you all these things so see this here see this dark thing because font is also dark right font is also black and busy dark is also black understood yeah so what i'm doing now better thing is using this class thing here better this thing use this thing in a body tag right mm -hmm. and busy instead of busy truck you can use busy light also we have and busy primary secondary primary color is blue secondary color is light blue like this so busy light so it's a ITST. gray color will give you gray color it's showing busy light not showing a busy dark busy maybe eight nine see here so we are getting busy primary color uh but yes busy primary color for the background but uh, uh, what i want so that's not giving here so let's go with the Div tag. Control C. Sorry. Control X and remove this. Here. Now see. See this. This is a busy. Uh, sorry, this is a container. So we have a two basic layout for the uh, bootstrap. It's a call called container. So container layout will give you the margin from the both side of the body. Right? We are getting a margin from left side also and right side also. 
yes or no yeah yeah but if i don't want to this then we have to use container fluid okay when we use the container fluid so it will cover the complete screen understood yeah what is the difference between container and container fluid yeah yes so same thing so this so most of the time we are using a container tag and all that so see this for the container and container fluid now again we have to go to this right so this thing is done because here i copy the current thing now we have a complete thing here whatever thing you want to use like typography it's given in a, our content right here module 3 see this so this is a progress bar leave it progress bar so first we move to this typography suppose so this is a bootstrap then we go to the typography that means styling up our font link style whatever thing then here progress bar then here buttons right so see this batches uh, list group so we don't need to type any single line all thing is here only we, what data you want to input so that uh, you have to give those datas only so search here or you can simply go to the content okay and see here go down see this layout which layout you want containers see this here only containers and container fluid understood yes so we have only two containers if you want to container sm container md medium small large excel double excel container fluid it's a given this so th why for this because if you use all these container accordingly so it's a responsive way default container is container i already use see here and responsive container is a uh, like this so when we have to medium large we know okay okay when our screen become medium then container medium when a screen become large so it will contain a large like this fluid container here okay then grid see this this is a grid system so if you want column three column so we use div column 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 container text center so now text is center if you want to break into columns so we have a, again medium small and all columns see this one of three columns three columns three columns so total vertical alignment like this so you can use all columns in three columns in one div tag see this right row align row so one created one row in row align item center so all items align in a center like this item start text is a center main div tag this is the main div tag see this so here you can use all this thing then typography i told you content so typography go to typography here and see this what is this font family font size right we already learned font family in css by using yeah. so so see this h1 h1 all this here so see this h1 heading to h6 classes dot h1 to h6 see this here p1 class h1 h2 s3 h4 so simply it will give you the see this small class text muted faded color display one display two display three so font style everything is changed yeah right so if you want you can write here something suppose here h1 so inside if i'm writing again h1 my name suppose sanjeev okay and here i'm giving a class
display one, right? And this hello one is here. So I'm giving here class H1, right? So both have a different class. So accordingly, we get to both have a, see this different font, right? So you can use it here, see this H1 and display. So display dash one. So I have to use because it's giving us a this thing. So display dash one. Now check here. So this font and this font is different. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Font. So this is typography. And see, this thing is also not uh, you can remember everything. Yes, when we are used to, we are creating working means multiple projects, then you are able to uh, remember, okay, we have to use display, we have to use color, like font family, font color, font weight. So all these things, see, class lead, inline text element, highlight. So here, see this is small, strong, we are using in a normal HTML. We already used, remember? Yeah. So see this, they created a mark, small text decoration underline, all our classes here, right? So we have to yeah. use all these things. So you have to go to here and then try to use. Then whatever thing you want to create like a card, I want to create a card. See this. So yes, example is given here. Like here, image, card title, go somewhere. We already have a file. Means everything is here. Now what to do? Simply you can copy this from here. Paste here, contain type in body. Uh, yeah, before div tag here. Because we are inside a div tag. So let's see. We create one another div tag so here. You can change the color and whatever thing and paste this code. Right now, check here. So I got this card because image is not here. So we have to give some image. So go to this image source. Give some images. We already have image, right? Uh, a, yeah, full side. This one. Okay. Card image drop. Alternatives. Pool side. If is anything, we can try it here. Like this is the card body. So card title. Right. Card title, we can give this. Uh, side. Uh, some quick example, whatever text you want to give here, we can give, go somewhere, maybe here we can get this uh, submit view or you, um, means give something like if you want to some review and anything. So we can give this now check here. See this, this is a card. Right. So what happened? When I need this type of card, so I just copied the text. Uh, we just uh, change the content and my task is ready. Right? Yeah. But if I told you, okay, okay, now you create this type of card. So what we do, we'll go, we'll create a div tag. Then we write a CSS. Okay. Height equals to, suppose uh, this uh, width equals to 200 pixels. Height equals to 400 pixels. Right. Then again, we create an image size. So image is like a height 200, width 200. And then again, button, border radius. Means everything you have to write manually. No. But here, what happened? We finished easily. So, but here also, if you don't have a knowledge of CSS or HTML, so you are not able to edit these things, right? So here also, that's why we learn HTML and CSS. Okay, we know where we have to put this complete tag, how to arrange it, how where we have to change. If I have to change something, 
So where we can change like this here width. So now I know we can change the width here, right? Card body here, card title here. So we can use this if I want to change this uh, card body color, right? Here, this is a card text color is here. I want different text. Then what to do? See here text is black. I want different color. Then what to do? Then what to do? I have to write here some text color. Yeah. So I think it's a txt of primary. Just check because that's kind of name is the primary, secondary and all. It's a complete text or txt. I'm a little bit. See this gets changed. Yeah. Right. If yes. I want to change the title. So see here, card title, card body and card title. So here I'm giving this a TXT. I'm using here warning. Warning is a, uh, I think, uh, orange color. Alert is a red color. So I'm giving here warning. see this i got orange color yeah yeah why i did this text warning it's a bit the basic uh, for everything is button button primary button secondary button warning button dark button light busy uh, dark busy light busy primary so it's a common to remember thing right otherwise you can use a color also here lots of color thing is given uh, here so you can uh, check text color so see this text colors and we can get a different multiple colors name see this so size font size see this here we got dark or simply search color see this color text text primary text secondary text success danger warning info light dark body right white black so these are the colors name predefined if you want to change your color then we have to create your see this text primary and here you have to write your own colors right so that's why see this they change the opacity and then color get changed text opacity accordingly you can use this text opacity like this so see this color name variable we can use So these things you have to remember. Then we are able to do easily. Right? Understood? Yeah. Yes. So here also, if you go here, so now list group. So if you want to use any list, so we can go to the list. And we can use it same thing breadcrumbs so this is a drop down carousal so everything is here so almost what you do now you can just <clears throat> whatever the lab activities and thing anything you are trying like form we already created right exercise you already done so yeah. just go to those ex that, that exercise and try to implement this using a bootstrap okay yeah see, see this button so you simply go to here in button and again you don't have to write anything simply button tag is there simply see this button type button class btn button primary so that's a button color secondary color success color danger warning info light dark link color simple so it will change the different types of buttons. See this. So here, what do you have to do? Border, hover, right? See this outline and hover is here. So I have not write anything. Otherwise, we have to write hover, link hover, and all that. So, yeah. So this button. So from here, you can try to use all the uh, elements in your forms. 
and so you already created only uh, change this uh, connect with the bootstrap and try to change this okay so whatever this nothing is left then only batch and carousal and some topic is left so we'll try to finish uh, tomorrow and we'll use navigation bar and all that and accordingly we'll create a uh, normal layout okay a complete page layout will create tomorrow using this this network so and we can add it so see this these are the completely navigation bar we add an hour or thing and means a page and we can use it like okay so tomorrow we'll show you how to create a page using this uh, bootstrap or html css using okay yeah so so yes uh so should i uh replicate uh so you're asking me to like uh replicate uh yes the html forms using bootstrap bootstrap yes yeah yeah so because you see as a professional when we are working in a, a company and office so that times we are not going to write a entire css code or entire html code right you know how yeah. much typing is there so that time what we are doing we are just using whatever things we have to use we can use from here and bootstrap and change the content according or we create a basic skeleton or structure of our project layout and then we use all this thing from here yeah okay so i hope you understood and if you have any doubt anything so you can uh, post on a group also we have a whatsapp group also otherwise we'll connect tomorrow we'll see you again okay then bye take care bye Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.